Good morning, Renew. Thank you for joining in with us again for our Monday morning devotional. And I trust all of you had a great weekend and you're looking forward to a great week coming up. Today's devotional is entitled, Blessed to be a Blessing. How many of you would say that God has blessed you? If we were to stop and just reflect at God's goodness to us, let's just talk about our salvation alone what a blessing that is. Let's talk about the families God has given to us. Let's talk about the church family God has given to us. Let's talk about the roof over our head and the list goes on and on and on. And why do we have these blessings? We have these blessings to be a blessing to others. Our devotional is found in Genesis chapter 12 and verse number two. And the scripture says this, and I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Let's read today's devotional. Most Christians want to bless others through their gifts and resources. But it's not just a desire. God commands us to be a blessing to others because we have been blessed. As we look for ways to bless others, keep in mind, and I want to share with you these four principles of God's blessings. Number one is this, our blessings should flow to others. The Bible teaches that we are blessed, not just so that we can feel good or so that we can be happy and comfortable, but we are blessed so that we will bless others. In this scripture we just read in Genesis chapter 12, God told Abraham here in this scripture, I'm going to bless you I'm going to bless you and you will be a blessing. This is the first principle of blessing. It must flow outwardly. Yes, blessings are from within, but the truth is, is God doesn't want to keep, keep us, uh, have us, have us to keep those blessings within, but he wants us to have those blessings flow outwardly. Number two, when we bless others, God takes care of our needs. How many have found that to be true? There's almost nothing that God won't do for the person who really wants to help other people. In fact, God guarantees that if we will concentrate on blessing others, he promises that he will take care of our needs. We all love the scripture that talks about God is there and he will supply all of our needs. When you get a chance, look up Luke chapter 18 and verse 29 and 30, and it really talks about the priority and how if, if we forsake all others and, and we understand that first the priority is for the kingdom of God, that he will in turn, he will in turn continue to bless us. You know, we when we care about helping other people, God assumes responsibility for our problems. I love that thought. And that's a real blessing because he's much better at handling our difficulties than we are. Number three, what a great uh, principle this is, our blessings to others will come back to us. The more you bless other people and the more you help others, the more God blesses your life. Luke chapter six and verse number 38. And again, you can look the scripture up, but it's a great passage and it kind of refers to this idea of, of, of giving our lives away. And, and we find when we, when we give our lives away for the Lord, you'll, you'll find that life will be given back. And, and not merely just given back, but it will be given back within many blessings. And it's a great scripture. You can look that up. You know, we cannot outgive God. I don't want to encourage you. Try it. Try and outgive God. You can't do it. The more you try to bless other people, the more God says, hey, I'm going to pour out blessings that will come to you. God's pretty much saying, hey, let's play a little, a little game here. Let's see who's going to win. Let's see who can give the most. The more you bless others, the more I'm going to bless you in return. Let me give you this fourth principle. The more God blesses you, the more he expects you to help others. The more that God blesses us, the more he expects us to bless and help others. Jesus said it this way in, in Luke chapter 12 and verse 48, and many of you are familiar with the scripture that talks about, you know, where much is given, right? Where much is given and, and much is required to, to, to those who have been given much. And, and it is more, it, much more is required from the person to whom much is given. Never be afraid to share God's 
blessings. The more generous that we are with sharing what God's given us, the more that we'll see God's blessings in return. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for these principles that we could look at. Thank you that we are blessed to be a blessing. I pray today that, that, Lord, you'll help us to look for ways that we can bless others. You've designed it this way. And Lord, I pray that we would follow your plan as you've been so good to us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to think about this question as we leave today. What will you do to bless someone today? Think of something. Here's our action statement. Think of something that you can do to bless someone today. Do it. Do it. It could be a friend, could be a family member, could be a coworker. I want to encourage you to think of something that you can do. Take action and go bless someone today. Remember, blessings, the blessings God has given to us are given so that we can bless others. Blessed to be a blessing. Have a great rest of your Monday.